Today's subject, safety capabilities and ways to measure it, is one we should be all deeply interested in. It's a great pleasure for me to introduce our speaker who teaches risk, reliability and safety in the engineering faculty at UWA and is part of the Centre for Safety at UWA. So today's seminar uh, talked about safety capability and particularly how safety capability is really a function of uh, uh, operational and dynamic capability and can be enabled by three important capitals that are inherent in every organisation. Organisational capital, social capital and human capital and how those capital elements come together to produce uh, an emergent property of safety capability. And so possibly the best way of thinking about this is to think about where you have an organisational process does that's the organisational capability? Do the people who should be using that process have the skills and training to use the process? That's human capital. And do, the, do they work in an environment? Do they work in a team at a site that encourages them and provides the right support to use that particular procedure? So in order to be capable, to have capability, you've both got to have the procedure, know how to use it, and be allowed and supported to use it. I think the main key takeaway for me was the definition around social capital, human capital and organisational capital. I think being able to use those concepts and reflect on our own organisation, both as a whole and as at each of our sites, uh, would really give us some insight into where we should be putting our focus and resourcing. We are working at heights, we are working with pressures, we are working with uh, things that want to key you and we have to maintain that. We have to control that risk, we have to actually make sure those incidents don't happen. The talk today really highlighted how we can look at different databases and start to ask and answer questions. For example, uh, is there a relationship between unplanned or non-core work and fatalities? Those sorts of things, but you need to look across multiple databases. But even we've talked about this uh, particular modelling approach with the um, oil and gas industry. Um, we've been involved uh, with the international regulators for the oil and gas industry from all the jurisdictions around the world. And this model has really resonated with them. They also feel that um, there is an overemphasis on the organisational process side and uh, that the challenge is in the human and social side. In order to work out where you need to focus is to start to look at the data that you can use and collect and, and, and mine in order to better understand where the opportunities for improvement are. I guess my personal takeaways from, from your presentation is that uh, very in, important interplay of all three aspects of the capital. Uh, safety culture is not just about the systems and processes we put in place but um, very much depends on what each and every one of us brings to the workplace and what is the culture that we all work in. Yeah.